what's up y'all it's your girl Kuvan, and i want to talk so let's talk listen so i know y'all seen by the title of this video i did something yes i did a thing i converted my 2010 town in chrysler into a camper a mini camper so i guess i'm gonna give you all a tour but first i want to start off telling y'all why i did this so anyway me and adam this Ada right here, this is my daughter, Ada. Hi. Me, Ada. <laughs> yeah, so me and Ada, we homeschool and we love to travel. Anybody that know us know that we love to travel. So we've been to a lot of countries. We travel all over the world. And so because of COVID, we wasn't able to travel how we normally travel. So anyway, starting off this school year, Ada told me, my, you know, I've been to more countries than states, which seemed like a challenge. So I told her that I could fix that. So our plan was really this year to get in our car and to drive to every state in the U.S. I mean, except Alaska, and you can drive to Hawaii, but you can drive to Alaska through Canada. But our plan was to drive to all the U.S. states we could and to do a U.S. tour. But what happened was I was talking to my friend one day on the phone, and she was like, they was looking at van conversions. Really, they was looking at sprinter truck conversions. And I didn't have a sprinter truck. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder if I could do it. Listen, y'all, I literally started to think and Google stuff. And the next day after that conversation with her talking about converting a sprinter van, I went outside and I ripped out all the seats in my minivan. And here I am in our mini camper. And what do I got to say? Oh, it took us about... Mm, it took us about what a month and a half almost two months it took us like a month and a half almost two months we were supposed to start our u.s tour a couple months ago but we decided to work on the van so it took us a little while we did have help building it out um no measurements or nothing like that my little cousin who is amazing shout out to you dejan listen you came through amazing me and your minds we click and we did it we got it together and then shout out to my newfound cousin who did the electrical scotty 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 the hero listen scotty came through did the electrical so i did not do none of that myself i did not do the electrical myself at all so when i give you all a tour i'm gonna sort of tell y'all about the electrical but i mean i'm gonna tell y'all as much as i know about the electrical because i don't know all about it but um it was just, it was a really easy build. We didn't do no measurements or nothing. I sat down on the floor to say how high I needed a sink to be able to cook comfortably. Um, I know I wanted wood floors. I love black fixtures. I love black hardware. So I just designed it myself. We, um, here y'all, while I'm talking about it, I'm gonna just show y'all around. So I designed it myself because I knew what I wanted. I'm kind of like, um design savvy hold on y'all let me adjust and then i get to the front because we're gonna start in the front of the van and then work our way to the back okay y'all we is in the front so as y'all can see it's just a normal town and country in the front i didn't do nothing special the only thing i did add is let me turn the camera i added those little pieces in there in the window i added three of those pieces to put our sun again we just got a normal old simple sun reflector it does it is good it black out all the light at night nobody can see in and it also keep the car cool if you're sitting in the sun so we do got them we just stick that in the door we got a couple of them we got them for the front window or the sides windows and the back window um it did used to be like a let me flip the camera it did used to be like a little console right here but we just took it out um we could have used it for storage but it's hard to get from the front to the back so we just took that out we did away with that little console that's in the middle of the seats we took that out so that it would be easy to transition from the front to the back of the van um to separate it sorry y'all y'all got some of my underarm it's all good at the front and the back we got these curtains right here at night we just close our curtains completely and that separates so also that kind of make it filthy that's the word i learned off of the van life people y'all so it make it a little stealthy so people can't see in they don't see what's going on and all of that so okay let's make our way to the back so y'all this is the back of the van y'all this is our countertop space this is our sink um 
that's the back of the van okay y'all so let's start with the countertop so like i said me and my little cousin dejan we did a countertop um he really built it for me and i just told him what i want we connect so good it was easy um i just sat on the floor and said how high i need the countertop to comfortably cook wash dishes wash our face whatever else we got to do and he just built it off me sitting down and we measured how high i was sitting down in a comfortable space um inside our cabinets it y'all for for real for real i was surprised that everything fit in here this is our food storage over there we got storage for all our utensils we got our cooktop our plates knives all that stuff right there in the cabinet and we got our bungee so we bungee everything back there y'all seeing our solar panel um it tell you the energy so that's our solar panel we also got a little um 12 volt plug right there just in case we need to plug something up in there okay y'all let me show y'all the other cabinet the other side of the cabinet actually got our water pump our clean our clean and gray water tanks because our sink hold on y'all i'm gonna take a pause and turn on the light so y'all just bear with me some little instrumental music oh let me show y'all the light switch so our light switch is right there we just click it boom and our lights come on our lights come on so down here is our water pump our clean water and our gray water our water just hook up easy the water from the sink just hook straight up and we put that in there and that's where our gray water go and the water pump water go in the clean water and this is up close of our water pump like i said these is our clear water tank and this is our gray water tank this is our sink where our water comes out right now we don't have water in there y'all just bear with us but when we fill it up with water it just come out so easy no problem no big deal okay let's get to the rest of the van so like i told y'all this is a 2010 town and country so the thing about the town and country that was great in converting it to a minivan i mean converting it to a minivan the thing about the town and country that was great in converting it to a camper is it's stow and go so in the floor it has all type of storage for the seats to go in so instead of covering all that we kind of utilize that storage space to make it livable in the van because we don't know how long we're gonna be on the road we homeschool so we could be on the road as long as we want y'all so we might be out there four five six seven eight months whatever we're just gonna take our time and enjoy every state that we go to see all the bucket list stuff in the state so y'all if y'all got like some suggestions on states sites things to see listen leave them in the comments shoot me a email because we want to explore the beauty of the u.s and like i said my daughter literally says she's been to more countries than states and we do we explore so many beautiful things when we is out of the country but for real for real it is so many beautiful parts in the states that we just miss out on because we don't get to explore them so okay back to the tour okay y'all so like i said stow and go so down here we just made cubbies this is our electrical storage so what we what we have down there is a converter we got a battery back there but you can't see it we got our solar panel hookups all that stuff back there and i also use that other stuff for storage so right there we got our some more reflectors we got our little heater defroster thing also i put my george foreman down there because it can't fit in the cabinet with all the other cook stuff so my George Foreman go down there, and that's that. Over here in the cabinet, hold on, y'all. I'm getting a little wild with the camera. So over here in the cabinet, we store our clothes. Our clothes go down there. That's our stuff that we use on a daily basis, as y'all can see. Bras, panties, leggings, workout stuff. House shoes, that's our stuff that we store. So our clothes go down there because a lot of people is asking us, where y'all gonna put y'all clothes at and our clothes go neatly down there y'all i got ocd so i need stuff to be neat i need stuff to be clean i need stuff to be clear so that worked out perfect okay let's get to the back 
as y'all look at the carpet okay now in the back right here we got our refrigerator like i said in the cabinet we got our cooktop and stuff like that so right here is our refrigerator we just got a little plain refrigerator keep our stuff cool on the road we're gonna cook every day and we are vegetarians if y'all don't know look this is our little decorations y'all look at me decorations so back here we have another little cubby thing that we use to keep our bedding so our bedding sleeping bags pillow sheets all that stuff is down there and as y'all can see we have a lot of storage space still down there. So we put our hygiene stuff down there, like lotions and toothbrush and all that stuff go down there and um, little containers. We have a lot, a lot of space. Y'all, it worked out so much better than I thought it would because we have tons of storage space. Our cabinets store everything we need, like any extra stuff, overflow stuff. I told y'all we put in an electrical bin and it go down there so easy george forming everything all our bedding stuff go back here so easy we store our hygiene stuff so we just pop it out brush our teeth put it back um face wash all that stuff it just stores so easy y'all it's just i mean when i say this thing worked out y'all baby this thing worked out honey and um like I, we also guys the van storage so right there you see van we just store like that is our reflector for the back window as y'all can see we also have oh if i could get it right there we also got velcro in the back so that's just our reflectors for the back window um yeah that's about it um what else oh, oh y'all i realized what i was missing but it was outside so y'all, our van does hook up like an RV. So if we get electrical, our van does hook up to electrical and we can run everything, recharge our van through electrical. So let me show y'all the hookup real quick. So we do have a hookup for our van. So we can plug our van in, any RV park or anything like that. Let me get over here and show y'all. Let me show y'all the electric bit better so this is our solar panel right here it tell you the energy we got this is our fuse box it kind of just we got all the different spots where we can add more electrical stuff or whatever um, if we need our solar panel as you can see we just slide it back there we lift the curtain slide it out put it on top on the top of our van we do have like storage bags so we do we have a suitcase up there with extra clothes i don't even know why but my daughter decided that she needed to bring everything in her drawer so we do have suitcase up there we have workout stuff i got like my yoga mat just in case we don't go to the gym and we work out in the woods or we work out at a park i got my yoga stuff up there um i got some work stuff stuff like that like i said we do homeschool so once our homeschooling stuff gets in the van we will store it under there with our um with our bedding and hygiene and all that stuff we just put our our ipads in the pack and we just do down there um but yeah y'all that is about it for the tour um it's a normal van that we converted we have literally everything our need all everything we need um we have everything we need in the van we have so much stores we have so much room y'all let me just pan around for y'all again just so y'all can see like we have tons of room like we got tons of room in here like it is literally tons of room and really what i like so much is that it made our trip cost efficient like y'all it was about to cost a lot of money to stay in every state like y'all just think about it do the math um it cost about 79 dollars for a whack hotel a night like that them be the hotels in some states you'd be scared like oh my goodness i don't want to touch the bed i don't want to do nothing so when we did the math our trip to travel the u.s was going to be very expensive and it was just a blessing to us and to our you know and to our ventures that we just had a fully functioning minivan and that we could just convert and it was a blessing to people like my little cousin dejan and then he 
introduced me to my newfound cousin scotty and together us three together we did this thing y'all like we did this in a month and a half almost two months we literally did this and it is fully functioning like i said we have solar panels um are like i told y'all i don't know a lot about the electricity but i will tell y'all what i know the electrical setup is um we have a solar panel that recharges our battery if we just sit in um then we our battery is also hooked up to the car alternator so when we drive it automatically recharges our battery we also have a converter down there when we need to use like um convert wattage so we have a converter we turn that on when we need to plug up our cooktop anything like that um what else y'all i think that's about it um i'm glad y'all got to chill with me because Ada left i'm glad y'all got to chill with me and see the tour of our van y'all we are going to be posting videos i know i know i always sound be posting but listen we are going to be posting videos and we're going to post just on the road we're going to post our homeschooling routine on the road we're going to post how we do that because for homeschooling we have um we also have a portable generator battery system just for homeschooling so that we won't use our normal uh, surround energy and we just use portable so when we do our homeschooling routine we're gonna show y'all all of that um yeah whatever questions y'all got ask your girl um whatever suggestions like i said suggest states suggest places that y'all been in the united states that's just beautiful because we want to see it all and because ad is in eighth grade this year we are doing u.s history and it's so cool that we get to travel around the u.s while doing u.s history so that we learn we get to see these different um monumental places we get to we just get to really get a feel for our country so y'all i love y'all and that is about it about the van tour like i said if y'all have any questions y'all right there subscribe so that y'all can go on this journey with us subscribe share the video because y'all this is about to be a faith-filled journey i want y'all to know i know i'm normally talking bible and bible talk but i want y'all to know this is really like a leap of faith i was telling somebody the other day everything i do is a leap of faith like people look and they be like oh you always traveling you do so much you homeschool you do this you do that you are just courageous but the truth is it is all leaps of faith because I be nervous. Sometimes I be nervous, like taking your daughters out of the country to a country you've never been to. You don't know the language for a month. Y'all, I be nervous, but it is a leap, to, a leap of faith. I trust the almighty. I trust the most high's guidance. And I just say, most high, I trust you and I'm doing it. Like even with this van, y'all, it was a leap of faith. Who would have known that it would have turned out so be like let me show y'all again what we live in like come on y'all like it is like a little luxury loft apart like who would have known that it would have turned out so amazing but like i said my daughter gave me a challenge my i've been to more countries than states and i said baby i can fix that i was talking on the phone to my friend and she was talking about converting a sprinter van it just popped in my spirit that I got a minivan I could convert. I went out the literally the next day and I ripped out all the seats. I ripped out all the seats. I called my little cousin, saw if he could help me. And we got to work, y'all. And it was just, like I said, it was just a leap of faith. Who would have known that it would have been this beautiful? Who would have known that I would have met Scotty? And all the electrical stuff would have got done. Like, who would have known? And that's what life is about. Life is about literally trusting the Almighty. Some stuff you could plan for. But some stuff is out of your control. And you literally have to sometimes just trust the Almighty. Know that it's all going to work out for your good. And go with the flow. Go with His flow. Go with the flow. And be blessed, y'all. So... I'm going to continue all to take y'all on this journey with us. We're going to try to hit all the states. We're going to post the states. We're going to post our homeschooling schedule. We're going to post all type of stuff, y'all. Tell me what y'all want to see and your girl a deliver it. So, 
don't forget to subscribe like share the video y'all because this a mommy and me solo y'all y'all have not seen a mommy and me solo me and my daughter is solo out here in the states solo in a minivan y'all in a minivan conversion camper y'all we doing it so share the video like subscribe and come along with us on this journey while we gonna be living traveling and exploring love y'all Mwah, 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 mwah. Until next time, be blessed.